What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video on iOS 15, and I believe this works on iOS 14 as well. You can technically lock any application on your iPhone, and you can lock custom icons like I have here. As you guys can see, these are uh, basically just custom icons that I've created for these specific applications. That's how they have no text below them for the icon. Um, but basically the way this works is I'll try to open up an application and it's going to lock my iPhone. And then to get into that application, I have to unlock my iPhone to get into it. So it's, it's a little bit of a workaround for locking applications. And I think it's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and try to open up the photos. And as you guys seen, it locked my iPhone. Now I have a couple other things at play here, like disabling the notifications, also disabling the, uh, shortcuts, banners, and all of that. I've, I've done tutorials on how to do that. I'll leave video links in the description how to do all that stuff. Uh, but basically to get into the Photos app, we need to now go ahead and use Face ID or our passcode to get into that application. So there you go, that's basically how it works. Again, I'll just show you really quickly. Once you leave the application, when you try to open it, it will show it for a split second and then lock your iPhone. And to get into the app, you have to unlock your iPhone. So it's kind of a, a sweet little workaround to lock applications. Now it's really easy to set up and I'll show you guys. So what we're gonna do is go into shortcuts. And like I said, I have a few other things going on here. I've done dedicated videos for all this stuff. Uh, so just check out the playlist link in the description if you guys wanna see how I do custom icons and no banners and no notifications and all that. Uh, but basically what we're gonna do is create a new automation, just like so, and we're gonna choose app uh, when the app is opened and now we're going to choose which applications we want to lock um so we'll just do i guess tweetbot for example so when i open up tweetbot it will lock now so we'll click on done and then we're going to click on next and we need to add an action the easiest way you can do this is just search and do uh start start timer so select on start timer and then you need to select the minutes there, do one minute, and then change minutes to seconds. So one second. Click on next, turn off ask before running, don't ask, click done. Now the next thing you guys need to make sure you do is go into the clock application, go to the timer here, and then when timer ends, go all the way to the bottom and make sure you have stop playing selected. That is required for this to work. So now you guys will see that when I try to open up TweetBot, it will lock my iPhone. So essentially it's locking the application. So if you guys want to lock applications, it's totally possible. There's a sweet workaround for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Of course, if you guys want to see other features of iOS 15 and other crazy cool stuff, check out the links in the description. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.